All right. Moras. Everyone's familiar with those, yes? Shoulder locks, all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> your favorite? My favorite. Okay, so one of the basic ways to set it up is to have to be able to bring him forward and get him to post. Okay, so hips up, and I'm swimming my hands in as close as I can to my hips. As I pull forward, I open. Okay. <clears throat> bring the knees in. If I just do this, he's gonna posture right back up. Okay. So hips up, as the hands swim through, knees forward. So it's optional what side you want to go to. Okay. So your initial grip is gonna be thumb over. Yeah. Okay, and then we switch the transition to the monkey grip after we sit back. Okay. Here, here, this is to help create that space to come up. So as you come up, you want to open and drive in. Okay. Armpits coming over the back of the tricep. <clears throat> this hand now feeds in front of the elbow. So as you sit back, that's when you transition your grip to thumb over. Okay. At this point, I want to scoop my hips out and reclose my guard. Okay, and a little adjustment here is I want to drive my knuckles up. Okay, elbow comes to the nose, and then I try and touch his hand to the back of his head. Okay, the reason I adjust here is you can see how much farther I have to go to finish. Okay, when I adjust here, it puts more pressure and takes the slack out. <coughs> so hips up knees to the chest and establish your grip right away. This is to create that distance I need to sit up. Okay. Arm in front, adjust your grip as you sit back, hips out and reclose your guard here. Adjust the knuckles, elbow to the nose and hand to the back of the head. Because a lot of times if you don't adjust your hips, and you close here, the hand goes back. It's easy for them to defend. And the reason that I like to scoot my hips out is now I'm driving him to that other side, less for him to defend here. If I keep it open, the easiest way for him to defend it is to hop over. So this just keeps him in place and makes it harder for him to straighten the arm or hop to the other side. Everybody got it? That scoots and transition as you sit back. All right, let's mix it up. Same setup, knees in. So as I sit up, he's gonna hug my hip. Okay, so I'm keeping the arm that's over and one motion, my hips come up, and they turn. <clears throat> Commit to going for the Kimura to get him to hug, okay? This is to keep him from basing back out. So hips up, head over the shoulder, and bump. He's just going to flatten me out. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm already here. Looking over your shoulder helps you drive your hips in. So if he grabs and I try to do this, I have to be able to turn my hips and bump. If I just extend straight up, he's going to flatten me out. We got it? <clears throat> 